good to see you, darling. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance, but... Let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunnar about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunnar is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunnar away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunnar has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. May I see your stores?
That be all? Uh. Farewell, Eivor. This is true happiness, isn't it, men? You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skald come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because his name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What's your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. 
An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son wrapped in his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear maybe he's courting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Well met, Eivor. I remember hearing the story of Kalda, a fierce young woman whose father forbade her from swordplay and raids. Kalda had skills to match or surpass any man in the clan. And so it was that her beloved Garpi asked her aboard his ship. Once again, Kalda's father forbade her to leave, calling her soft and weak and fragile. But Kalda ignored these insults and left. For a full spring, Kalda and Garpi sailed the coast of Francia trading and plundering and taking much silver and riches. Then, in the early weeks of summer, a passing ship gave Kalda the news that her mother had done. Save it for later.
You see, Hunwald's back drinking in the shower in his other entrance. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Humboldt. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Humboldt, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk? Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! All right, a quick brawl to get familiar with the local dregs. Help! What? 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 One thing to us about it. Nothing welcomes us more into the day than a swift bruising. Is this what it means to be your friend? <laughs> we shall triumph, Eivor. We shall win this ugly round. Eivor! Humboldt, don't... Clear out, all of you, before you kick up a fire. Jesus, my bones are aching. Could you use a dip in the sea? Shut your hinge, chill. And stop dripping blood in my hall. I told Humboldt to stay near. Where did he wander off to? There's drinking to be done! Who's with me? <laughs> Did you hear that scream? It sounded like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down! Leave him be! Jesus! Brought a bloody oh, I have been struck down, pruned within an inch of my life, but I will survive. Continue as you would, Eivor, and if I can expire, avenge me. They say they're <laughs> I 
I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairels and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me?